How to Encourage Productivity Without Hurting Creativity If you are in charge, then part of your job is to motivate your team to get their work done on time. In a management setting, for instance, you will likely have targets that you need to meet and deadlines that you need to work to. And that means you need to encourage your team to work fast and not spend their time chatting around the water fountain. So what do you do? One popular option is to incentivize the work and to offer some kind of reward for those who complete their projects on time. The only problem is that according to psychologists, this can actually hamper creativity. Why? Because when we are working toward something, we put pressure on ourselves. When you put pressure on yourself, this essentially means that you enter the fight-or-flight response. You become stressed. Yes, even if you are working toward a reward, rather than working to avoid a punishment, you still trigger a stress response. In order to think creatively, we need to relax. When you relax and give yourself space to think, this causes more neurons throughout the brain to fire. In short, when you're panicking, you become very focused on a single type of thinking, whereas relaxation allows the mind to wander, which is where imagination and inventiveness comes from. So, what is the solution? One option is to think about the different kinds of work that need to be done, and to treat them differently. Data entry, for example, does not need creative thinking to be finished. In this case, providing rewards or bonuses can be a great way to get your team to work faster. But for inventive problem solving, R&D, or even something like coding, time and space are necessary. Your job as a leader is to segregate these kinds of tasks. This could mean putting one team on the grunt work and another on the creative work, and then getting them to switch. Alternatively, it could mean creating windows for working on each kind of project. Perhaps let your team work creatively until lunch, and then switch gears afterward. Although, actually, eating triggers the release of relaxation neurochemicals, such as serotonin and melatonin. So, you might be better to swap those two around. As a leader, your job is to assign the right person to the right job and motivate them in the right way. As it turns out, knowing a little neuroscience can come in handy. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.